You are watching Economum TFV, the unofficial broadcaster of economics for South African students. In this episode, chapter 2, and we take a closer look at the economic problem. This is part 2 of 3, and specifically looks at how to produce. In the first part of this chapter, we said that when you consider the economic problem of scarcity, choice and opportunity cost, this leads to three important questions. What, how and for whom to produce? This section is specifically on the question of how to produce. Economic systems determine how society will answer these different questions. Production is all about the use of the factors of production to produce goods and services that consumers can use to satisfy their needs. In the process of production, the different factors, capital, labor, natural resources and entrepreneurship is used. These factors of production can be classified in different ways. For example, the primary factors of production are natural resources and labor where the secondary factors would be capital and entrepreneurship. It's also possible to classify the factors of production into human and non-human resources, where labor and entrepreneurship would be the human resources and capital and natural resources making up the balance. Having a closer look at the four factors of production, we can start with labor. It's all human effort that goes into the production process to produce goods and services, and for the laborers to earn a wage or salary. The quantity of labor is important and depends on the size of the population, the age composition of the population, as well as the gender composition. Not only the quantity, but also the quality is quite important, which is why education and training is an important part of the labor as an input into production. The box number two one talks about the division of labor and specialization. Not all laborers need to be able to complete all the different tasks associated with the production of one or other product. Labor can be divided up into smaller parts, each of the workers specializing in a specific aspect of the production process. Now this is easiest to think about in terms of a production line where every worker completes a small little part of the production of a car, for example. But even within the School of Economics, not all the lecturers teach all the different subjects. There is always room for division of labor and specialization. It saves time and adds efficiency to the production process. On the side of the natural resources, the examples are typically mineral resources or farmland or marine resources. These resources are whatever nature gives us that we can use in the production process. They are, however, finite and often non-renewable, which means that the quality is also important. On the side of capital, these are the manufactured resources that goes into the production process. In this case, we are not referring to capital as a financial concept, but the physical goods that goes into the production of more goods and services. So think of machinery, but also of whole buildings, plants, highways and dams that the whole society uses as its capital in the production process. Finally, there's the entrepreneur who goes and combines the different factors of production to produce goods and services to sell in the market for a profit. The entrepreneur is more than a manager. He or she needs to be innovative, needs to take risks in order to maximize profit. Technology can also be used in the production process, but we do not regard it as a separate factor of production. It's the application of new knowledge in the process and is typically part of capital and entrepreneurship as production factors. You'll see that we don't regard money as a factor of production. It is only a means of exchange used to buy the other factors of production. So laborers would be able to earn wage or salaries. Capital earns interest and natural resources earns rent. Finally, the entrepreneurs get profit, all of which is paid in money, but money is not a factor of production. The question of how to produce comes down to a choice of method. Should the production process be more labor-intensive or more capital-intensive? 
the use of the different factors of production in the production process depends on the availability of the resources and their relative cost. For example, recent increases in the price of farm labor has already led to speculation that the production of fruit and grapes in South Africa will now become more capital intensive since labor has become more expensive. So did we achieve the outcomes of this section? Can you name and describe the four factors of production? Can you describe the division of labor and specialization? Can you explain the role of technology in the production process? Why isn't money a factor of production? And finally, can you describe the two types of production methods and say which one should be used under which circumstances? More labor intensive or more capital intensive production? You can also have a look at chapter 2 in Moerenfuri. There are more resources available on Yefundi and you can answer the questions on quiz. Finally, follow at Yekonuam on Twitter.